Hey Cancer, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and I hope you have a fantastic new year. Oh, just as I say that, the Five of Wands. This feels like you are struggling to get over some sort of heartbreak, some sort of betrayal. I feel like the memories are crowding you or you're reliving the memories over and over and over. Um, that temperance card there says to me that, that time is the healer of all, all wounds. With that Emperor card, you might have been dealing with an Aries, could have been a Pisces or Sagittarius, or that Aries also has Pisces and Sagittarius in their chart. And I, I'm hearing that this person might have dropped a bomb on you, and it's it almost even feels like you're trying to lift yourself up out of this bummed mental state. <clears throat> Yeah, it looks like you guys had some sort of argument and or disagreement. Try to move those over. Yeah, some sort of argument or disagreement kind of left you feeling maybe out in the cold, like the quote unquote odd person out. Um, I do kind of feel like you are trying your hardest to <sighs> rationalize but I feel like at least for right now, the memories are swarming, right? It's like, you it's almost like whatever this argument was, whatever was said just keeps looping right now in your mentality. And in all honesty, um, Cancer, I do kind of feel like, yeah, I was going to say this. I feel like whatever it was that came to an end had to come to an end, by the way. Because I feel like um, what I'm getting intuitively, this kind of feels like something you might have been curious about, about your person for the longest time. Like, do they really love me? Are we ever going to be together? You know, do you, do you see yourself with me? Something of that nature, something that's been in your, your mental energy field on your mind for a long time. <clears throat> I'm also getting to that, I feel like for you, Cancer, you might have had a conversation with this person, but I feel like you weren't getting the answers or the clarity that you were looking for. And I feel like that is the main reason why this was something that you kind of ended or let go. Not only that, but it does feel like this was, this was kind of pretty abrupt, as in, Whatever you were curious about, you might have been curious about for the longest time. But I feel like when you talk to your person about this, um, it was almost like you might not have gotten the answers to those curiosities, but I feel like you got the answers enough for you to make a decision to let this go. The hanging man with the five of pentacles kind of says to me that you feel like you were the sacrificial lamb. You might have been waiting. You might have been holding on. You might have been hanging around for this person. But this person never really made any of those sacrifices for you. They never maybe, how do you say, um, given you any sort of indication that, you know, that they wanted whatever the situation was with you long term. Now, of course, with that Three of Swords there, yeah, I do kind of feel like that third party is their non-committal ways. The Three of Swords near the um, near the Emperor kind of feels like your person was dead set against either eliminating a third party, um, giving up their single life, whatever that means to them, and kind of quote unquote committing to you. And I feel like cancer, realistically, you just wanted to know that you were special to this person, that they could see you and them in some sort of long-term relationship. So I kind of feel like for you, cancer, you were just needing like petting, 
you know, from this person as in, you know, some sort of confirmation that you meant something to them, something, you know, that, um, kind of put you at ease emotionally. And I don't feel like you got that from this person with that emperor card there. Emperor card is not freaking your Dr. Seuss type of mate, right? He or she is not going to soften the blow. They're just going to be out with it. And they're also kind of rigid at the same time as in my way or the highway to an extent. And, it, you know, again, in all honesty, I do kind of feel like this person's delivery, their approach, their communication, whatever uh, their stance was in this particular situation really freaking rubbed you the wrong way. Not only that, but with this temperance card, the temperance card is doing exactly that. It's chilling out. It's kind of letting the universe be the universe, bring things together naturally, naturally and organically. And with the death card, you know, following that kind of says to me, yeah, you don't want to spend or waste any more of your life waiting for this emperor to choose you as his empress. Ooh, I feel like that was a big message, Cancer. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like with the Three of Swords and then also the Strength card, this was hard on you because I feel like to an extent you might have known that this person was dealing with other people, maybe had a girlfriend, boyfriend, like you knew to an extent that you were kind of quote unquote sharing this person and I, don't, I just kind of feel like you don't want to do that anymore. Devil card here with the Emperor. That's a pretty stinky combination, by the way. And that, yes, that was in, you know, an, a channeled message, if you will. But, you know, it was just like this person. It was almost like they were leading you on from hell. It was almost like they were invoking and provoking fear inside of you, especially by keeping this third party around. So to an extent, it was it like they were, you know, they kept this third party around to kind of quote unquote, keep you on your toes, keep you guessing, keep you codependent. Oh, Lord. All right, we're going to move on. The last part was keep you codependent. So to me, that emperor here with the devil, it was almost like he's a master manipulator, male or female, whomever this Aries person is, could be Capricorn, could be any sign, but it was almost like, it almost felt like this was deep, not manipulation as in, I'm going to trick you. I'm going to deceive you. But it feels like master manipulation as in they had ulterior motives. They had an intention on who they wanted you to be to them. And I feel like that's what's kind of looping around in your mentality. Um, angels are saying hindsight is 2020. So I feel like this is you inside the situation, but intuitively I feel like once you relieve yourself from this mental burden, you're going to look eight of pentacles. You're going to see this situation exactly how your person designed it. And again, that's what's going to kick you off into this brand new journey, brand new cycle. So to me, cancer, whatever, whomever this situation was, whatever the situation was, whomever you're dealing with, I feel like you're done to the done done. Okay. Um, you have, I can't use that word, but yeah, what I was going to say, you have a uh, season shifting or chapter starting cards on here, here on the table. You have the death and you have the fool. You also have the temperance card, which basically says out with the old in with the new. I have to be strong enough to break free of this emotional manipulation, codependency. And once I free myself from that, right, which is going to involve you maybe forgiving, but not forgetting or forgiving and forgetting and starting off on this new journey. Not only that, but I do kind of feel like some self-actualization needs to take place as in you may need to go within to kind of figure out why this person had you, you know, bonded to them so tightly. Not what, why this person had you, but what inside of you bonded to, bonded to this person so tightly. 
Um, not only that, but angels are also repeating again, hindsight is 2020. I do feel like, yeah, once you break out of this mental restriction, this, you know, um, memory loop, if you will, you're going to start seeing things from a whole new perspective. The fool to me is almost like infancy and birth, whereas you're going out into the world, almost like you're learning things all over for the first time. <coughs> Excuse me. Not only that, but with that eight of pentacles, angels are also saying to make sure you don't, you know, don't forget to look within, to look deep within. Not only that, but when you start dating in the future, if you do decide to start dating in the future, yeah, make sure you're looking at a person's intentions, you know, maybe a good third, fourth date, uh, question for your person in that, you know, what are your intentions here? Are you just looking for something casual? Are you not interested in a relationship? That eight of pentacles is almost like getting the rules of engagement up front in the near future. Bong, peaceful resolution, amazing, thank goodness. Helpful people, not the right time. Yeah, that just kind of says to me, spend some time. You know, I know we're in holiday season. A lot of people taking time off of work to stay home, spend time with their family and kids. Um, this may be time for you, Cancer specifically, to spend some time cleansing. Okay, they didn't fall down. Well, I'm going to take all of them. Okay, these are the four cards that fell. But before I do that, let me read the signs. You have Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Capricorn, Aries, Aquarius, and then also Sagittarius. The cards that fell out, hold your vision. Take time to breathe out. Adjustments are required. What do you need to release? Card at the bottom is balance spirituality with practicality. Yeah. So I really do feel like, um, although there are no years or months or days, universally speaking, it's just really, um, earth and human measurement. I do, you know, with the calendar changing, I'm saying all of that to say, even though the calendar is changing, it's not like anything different is going on in the universe. It's just a calendar shift or some sort of human shift for mankind. But with that being the case, I really do feel like that measurement, that humankind shift is also prompting um, some sort of spiritual shift inside of you, Cancer, as well, to really, 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 really look deep down inside. And finally, not just let this person go, cut off this situation, but cut off and let go the part that's inside of you that to an extent may keep you in situations like this um, and that keep you attached to negativity, right? Because again, this person can only do so much. I learned a long time ago when studying Islam that they would call it, I guess, the book of life, like when you pass on and you go to heaven, um, it's almost like you go before God or Allah and then the devil is going before God and Allah also. And to an extent, when you have to explain like your sin, if you will, to God and you say, oh, it's almost like you can't say, oh, the devil made me do it because the devil will just be sitting there and said, all I did was call your name. Right? So I feel like I'm saying that to say, I feel like there's some sort of addiction some sort of heavy, energetic, negative pull that you are attracted to. And I feel like for you specifically, Cancer, it may be time for you to break, break that attraction and free yourself from this deep, deep negative cycle. Okay. All right, Cancer, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Love you, Cancer. Bye.